Welcome back to part two of selecting objects for the clash test. In the previous lesson, we discussed how to choose what files you want to clash test, as well as some of the properties you can set up. As an addendum, I'd like to point out that you don't have to go with entire files. You can actually choose selection sets to run the clash test with, or even more constricted sets. To show you how this is done, we'll go ahead and create a selection set, which we can then run the clash test on. First we need to close the clash test window. Then we'll go into the selection tree and choose our items for the selection set. I'm going to go with level 1 pipe fittings and pipes from the project 1 MEP. We'll then click the add set button in the sets window on the lower left. While we're at it, We'll also go ahead and rename this set, so we know in the future what exactly it is we created. So we'll call this Pipe Groups. Now if we go back to the Clash Detective by clicking the button on the ribbon, and go to the drop menu directly under Selection A, you'll see Sets are now available. If you choose Sets, you'll see the Pipe Groups set that we created appears under Selection A. Now we could go ahead and run it against the Selection B files, but instead this time we're going to just select Pipe Groups, and then we'll click the Self-Intersect button, so we can check the Pipe Groups for any clashes within itself. You'll notice when you select that option that the Run Test button activates, meaning that you can run a valid clash test. Since this lesson is just over how to add objects to run the clash test, we're not actually going to run the test right now, but it's at this point that you would press the Run Test button if you were actually conducting a full clash test. There's still another way that you can add items to run in the clash detective. The two buttons to the right of Self Intersect allow you to use any objects that you have selected in the normal way to run the clash test with. So if we go from the clash detective and click on some beams and columns in our model, and then click the use current selection button, they will appear in selection A as viable clash test candidates. The right button of the pair allows you to use the selection in the scene, otherwise its functionality is very similar. Thank you for watching. Now let's move on to the next lesson.